let us now do the docker challenge click on docker here is the pdf this is the pdf it has nine steps and it will take around one hour step one is to install docker in vs code go to extensions and look for docker so this is extensions let's search here docker here is docker click on it and click on install button so docker is successfully installed here is the new docker icon click on it it is showing yellow icons because docker is not installed in our windows operating system so let's install docker desktop in step 2 it is asking us to install docker desktop so go to this link this is docker desktop right click open link in new tab i am on windows so click on windows so docker desktop is now downloading it is a 494 mb so it will take some time to download so the download is complete let's go to the download folder this is docker desktop installer right click run as administrator add shortcut to desktop yes okay installation succeeded close that's it step 2 is complete step 3 is also telling us how to install docker desktop we have done it so that is also complete then step 4 is telling us to open the docker desktop and take the tour it is totally optional if you want to take it so let's go to desktop here is docker let's launch it click on i accept the terms accept this is the tour if you want you can take it i am going to skip it then we have to relaunch our vs code this is the vs code so what we have to do is we have to close and restart again so let's close and then restart again here you can see docker so in step 5 it is asking us to load up an docker image so go to a terminal and we have to enter this command docker run it ubuntu bash so go to terminal new terminal let's clear it and then give docker run docker run it ubuntu bash so step 5 is complete in step 6 it is telling us what just happened by running this command we now have a new container new image you can see there is a new container and a new image and a terminal prompt is a window into the docker container and this terminal is a prompt into this container so it is acting like a virtual machine running on our computer so in the next step we will install one more extension to make it a little more clear let's go to step 7 go to extensions and search for remote containers so go to extension and search for remote containers click on it and then install remote containers is now successfully installed then we need to start vs code and move to step 8 so let's close and restart let's restart visual code let's go to docker then step 8 is there we have to launch remote explorer here is the new icon remote explorer right click on the container and select attach to container so this is the container right click and attach to container click on got it and a new window of vs code is now open in the bottom it is saying installing server step 8 is now complete now in step 9 we have to open root so click on the explorer button and click open and enter root now click on open folder and here give root then give okay and you can see these are the files that we get vs code server bash rc and profile and you can see here it is green color and it is telling us container ubuntu here you can see this green box which is telling us this all is running inside a container which is ubuntu so that's it the challenge is complete 
and we will use this setup to complete the ansible challenges now to complete this challenge just submit check a doc in the public jcl so let's go to vs code don't go to the vs code which is running under a container so this is container vs code don't go here go to the other one where zowe icon is there and here go to public jcl and there is a jcl called check a doc right click and submit this job job submitted 9680 let's go to jobs close and expand here you can see condition code 0 means successful execution let's go to the website here go down and click on challenge complete here click on validated and that's it you have completed the docker setup challenge let's now refresh this page and you can see ansible 1 is now available if you like my videos then you can support me by buying my mainframe course after buying this course you will get 19 hours of mainframe training this course will teach you COBOL, JCL, VSAM, TSO, ISPF, UNIX system services and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description.